All right, guys, today I want to show you this dryer lint vac attachment that I bought to clean out the lint that's trapped inside my dryer. I recently had the thermal fuse on my dryer blow, and it was a result of too much lint buildup inside the exhaust of the dryer. And so I had to take the back of the dryer off, and I vacuumed out as much as I could, but there's no real good way to get inside the lint trap area of the dryer without some sort of attachment like this. So I bought this and we're gonna go ahead and open it up and give it a shot and see how well it worked. It comes with a vacuum adapter for your shop vac or any household vacuum that has a, a hose that disconnects. Um, and then it's got a plastic hose that goes down inside the dryer. It's narrow, so it, and it's sort of flexible, so it should fit down inside the opening. And then it's got a wire bristle brush, so you can uh, stick that down in there and free up anything that's stuck to the sides. So let's get this open. So this will be the adapter for your vacuum. It has two pieces. Here's the bristle brush. It's actually nylon, not uh, like a metal bristle, but it's flexible, so you can jam it down in there you got the the tube so this end will connect to the adapter and then this end will jam down inside the dryer and here's the directions so i'm going to get my shop vac set up and then we'll give this a shot before i get started i just wanted to show you that my shop vac is mostly empty and we'll be able to see how much lint comes out of the dryer. All right, the first step is gonna be removing the lint trap. Mine is on the top. Some are down inside the uh, lip of the door of the dryer. It's up to you to determine where your trap's at. You can see mine is pretty clean. I think I've only done one load of laundry since I cleaned it last. And as always, it makes a nice mess. All right, so for this first round, I'm just going to Stick this down inside. I've got it attached to my shop vac. I'm just gonna stick the attachment down inside the lint trap here, turn on the vacuum and see what we get. All right, you might have noticed that I I started at the top and I worked my way back and forth, slowly pushing it in further and further and further until I got it in as far as I could go. Now I'm going to use the, the brush and I'm going to try to see if I can uh, loosen anything that's in there. I can't see in there, so I don't know if it's really doing anything, but I'm going to give it a shot. Looks like I brought some back up. All right, I'm gonna vacuum one more time and then we'll check the results. You won't be able to tell very well, but there was quite a bit of buildup in there that the vacuum was able to knock off. So this is what the vacuum captured. I was kind of hoping there'd be more to make more of a point, but that's still quite a bit of lint that uh, was building up inside. And there's probably still more that I just, I can't see. I'm gonna probably give this another shot. Also, a lot was captured by the filter on my shop vac. So guys, I bought this because I had a backup of lint and it caused my dryer to overheat. And there's been plenty of articles and stories about dryers catching on fire because there's too much lint built up and I didn't want to risk it. And for the minimal cost of this attachment, at least I know that I've got as much lint out of the dryer as I can. I also cleaned the vent with another attachment on a drill and keep that as lint-free as possible. It can't be too safe. I would say that it does what it's supposed to. I can't see how they could improve upon it any better. So I hope this helped you make a decision. If you liked the video, 
Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And if you didn't like the video or you have any questions, leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.